Welcome to the news about the games people play. National Signing Day was this past Wednesday, and as usual, this area was well represented with high school football players taking it to the next level. But there were plenty of other sports besides football represented, and now it's time to give those athletes their just due. We begin at Savannah Krishna, where three non-football athletes put pen to paper for the college experience. Volleyball standout Hallie Rainwater is headed to Limestone College, while her teammate Olivia Alvarez is bound for Georgia College and State. I really just feel blessed. Um, I didn't really know I wanted to play in college until about last year, so up until this point it's been really stressful and it just makes me excited for the next chapter of my life. This day is just really exciting for me and it's a lot of stress like up until now and now that I really know where I'm going to go, it's, I feel like, settled. Savannah Christian Soccer was also represented Wednesday on National Signing Day as Faith Bully signed with the University of North Georgia. I've worked so hard since I was three years old. I've been playing soccer, so it just means the world that it's finally paid off and that I know like what I'm doing in my future and I'm just going to put it, my all into playing college soccer. It was also a big day over in the low country. At May River, a couple of signings. Soccer standout Adriana Machado is headed to Columbia College. She'll be joined at Columbia College by Ruthie Roman, but not for soccer. Instead, she's going for softball. It's amazing. It's a dream come true. The coach, all the players, and just the size of the school and everything. Really a dream come true because I didn't really think I was going to play college softball, but the opportunity came to me, and it really just excited me so much that I thought thought I'd have to do it and take the opportunity to do it. Over at Hilton Head High, it was a big national signing day as five athletes head to the next level, including four lacrosse players. Teammates Gavin Dillinger and Seth Woods will remain teammates as both are bound for Guilford College. I originally wasn't going to continue playing lacrosse in high school because of the uh, pandemic and just getting burnt out, but now that I finally was able to get a scholarship to go to college, it, uh, it's pretty great. Great. You know, it just takes hard work. You know, practice all the time. Um, we're getting we're getting ready for our season right now uh, for senior year, so it's going to be fun. Another lacrosse player, Amari Ford, will take his talents to Hampton University, and not to be outdone, the girls' lacrosse team is also represented as Anna Faraby signed with Erskine College. I just started playing freshman year, so this is really my third year of lacrosse. So it's been tough, but I just had to grind it out, hit the wall every day, and put in a lot of work. And it feels amazing to be here finally. It feels amazing. I always knew that I loved the sport. My brother introduced me to the sport. And I knew that I loved it ever since I started playing. So it was amazing. And the Seahawks signing barrage wrapped up with volleyball standout Addie O'Grady signing with USC Upstate. It's really nice to be with all my friends and all my family, to sit next to all my athletes and my classmates here 